follow these 16 tips to make the best of your all-inclusive vacation in Punta Cana. Number one, book your transportation before arriving in the country. Avoid confusion and ripoffs and book your airport shuttle online before your trip. There are tons of trustworthy companies that provide transportation to and from the airport. TripAdvisor is a great place to look. You can also ask your hotel as some of them offer free transportation from the airport to the hotel. Number two, tip the hotel staff. Tip your bartenders, waiters, the person that does your check-in, your maid, and the person that refills your minibar. Tips are not mandatory, but they are greatly appreciated. Normally, the service is good, but if you're staying for more than a couple of nights and you tip, the staff will remember this and give you exceptional service. Number three, bring singles for tips. Bring plenty of singles from home. You might be able to exchange larger bills in the front desk, but sometimes they don't have any. You may also try your luck at any of the bars, but make sure you go later in the day as they are more likely to have changed from their tips. Number four, learn the fastest way to get to your room. This might sound silly, but some Punta Cana resorts are huge. So if you don't learn how to get to your room from different hotel areas, you might end up walking in circles and wasting precious vacation time. Number five, pack casual clothing. Make sure you pack casual clothing because some restaurants in some resorts have a stricter dress code for dinner. Number six, make dinner reservations early in the morning. Make sure you book the restaurant where you want to have dinner before noon. They tend to fill up quickly. Some resorts don't require a reservation. If this is the case, then try to arrive before 8 p.m or it might be difficult to get a table, especially if you're in a large group. Number seven, book your excursions online before your trip. We strongly recommend booking your off-resort adventures online before arriving in Punta Cana. That way, you'll have a wide variety of tours and providers to choose from. And most importantly, you'll be able to read the online reviews to see if that excursion is the right fit for you. If you wait to book your tours at the resort, you might only have the option of one provider and a pushy salesman can make you choose an excursion that is not right for you. Not to mention, you'll most likely have to pay a lot more for the same trip. Number eight, wake up early and reserve your lounge chair by the pool or beach. Experienced Punta Cana travelers put down their towels in a chaise lounge to reserve it before breakfast. In some hotels, if you don't do this, you won't be able to get one, or the only ones left will be under the scorching Caribbean sun. Please be mindful that other guests also want to use the chaise lounges. Don't reserve them for the entire day. If you're not going to use them, let others have a crack at them. Number 9. Bring multiple sets of footwear to avoid blisters. When you think of Punta Cana vacations, walking too much may not even cross your mind, but depending on the size of your resort, you may find yourself walking quite a bit during your stay. We recommend bringing two different kinds of footwear for use during the day to avoid blisters on your feet. For example, a pair of flip-flops and a pair of Crocs. When you feel tenderness between your toes after walking too much on flip-flops, switch to your Crocs which have different points of contact on your feet. Another example would be bringing flip-flops and slipper sandals. Switch back and forth between the two to avoid or delay any blisters. Also, bring comfortable shoes to wear at night. Depending on your resort's dressing code for a la carte restaurants, you may need to bring closed toe shoes, but keep in mind that after dinner, you'll probably walk around the resort to watch the night show, go dancing, etc. And uncomfortable shoes will more likely than not cause blisters. Number 10. Pack a beach towel. Believe it or not, sometimes resorts don't have enough pool towels at the towel hut. This way, you have something to drive yourself up while you wait for the resort to restock the towels. Number 11. Take a nap mid-afternoon. If you want to fully experience the nightlife, we recommend taking a mid-afternoon nap 
to recharge your batteries. That way, you'll be well rested for dinner, enjoy the night show, and even go dancing at the disco. Take it from us, somehow lounging by the pool drinking mimosas will drain your energy. If you don't take a power nap, you'll want to go to bed right after dinner and miss out on some cool nighttime activities. Number 12. Use the Do Not Disturb sign while you're not in your room. After housekeeping has cleaned your room, place the Do Not Disturb sign on your door while you're out to prevent other hotel staff like maintenance from entering your room. That way, you can feel more at ease leaving your belongings in your room. Number 13. Bring a pair of flip-flops or sandals to wear in the shower. I heard this tip a long time ago, and ever since I caught a nail fungus in a shared shower, I take it to heart. It doesn't matter how upscale the resort or how clean the shower looks. Fungal spores can live up to 20 months in moist environments like the shower floor, so better be safe than sorry. The same applies to pool and beach showers. Number 14. Use all the free perks the resort offers. If you're anything like us, you like to get the most bang for your buck. So make sure you ask if there are any free perks you can take advantage of. For example, the Rio Republica lets you use the hot and cold therapy pools in the spa, as well as the Turkish bath and the sauna for free. Number 15. Pack an empty plastic bag. I know you don't want to think about your last day in Punta Cana yet, but this tip is worth it. You will probably have one last dip in the pool or beach on your last day, so when it comes time to finish packing, your swimsuit will be wet, and that's when the plastic bag you packed will come in handy. Put your wet swimsuits inside the plastic bag and keep the rest of your belongings dry. Before we get to tip number 16, here are some honorable mentions. Usually, you can arrive at the resort anytime after 11 a.m. and you'll be able to check in. This way, you'll avoid the long lines that form at the front desk closer to the 3 p.m. check-in time. Now, your room won't be ready until 3 p.m., but you'll be able to use the resort's facilities like the buffet. If you want a seaweed-free vacation in Punta Cana, your best bet will be to avoid the summer months. Tip number 16. Subscribe to our channel. Our goal is to stay at every all-inclusive resort in Punta Cana. So if you want to become a Punta Cana travel expert, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our weekly videos.